What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Get Free with Annie. That's me. I'm Annie, and my channel is about finding you ways to get free through passive income. In a sea of get rich quick BS, we are weeding out the fluff and finding the best ways to make real, legit money on autopilot before everyone else does. If that sounds good to you, click subscribe to help my small channel grow and to find out the best ways to make real, legit money on autopilot before everyone else does. Let's get right into this one today. If you're watching my channel, you've probably either bought some kind of training or course on how to make money online, or you are looking for some kind of training or course on how to make money online. And you're hoping that you can find somebody to tell you the truth about which courses are good and which ones are gonna make you money and if they're hard. I was in your exact same position a little over a year ago, and I stumbled onto a course called Automated Profit Partners System, or apps for short, creator of the program. His name was Ron Douglas. He is a big time internet marketer and internet marketing millionaire, multimillionaire, and I never thought that I would be in this position where he was actually interviewing me and asking me what I'm doing to be so successful. So I'm just gonna post this video of us having a conversation about what I've done and how it's been going in hopes that it might give you some inspiration if you're feeling a little bit burned out or like you ha nothing is working or you just don't have enough experience or knowledge and you just don't think this could work. And this is me and the guy who created the course talking about how successful I have become. So I hope that this serves as some inspiration for you because if I can do it, then you can do it too. Hey guys, Ron Douglas here. I'm here with one of my shining star customers and clients, Annie Casper better known as Get Free with Annie on YouTube and on our website. And I wanted to interview Annie because she's been crushing it, especially lately with her, with everything she's doing with affiliate marketing and with our program. And I know because I'm cutting her checks every month and, and last month <laughs> she's like on pace this year to do at least uh, six figures in sales. So I'm super excited about that. And I thought it'd be a great interview to have her on to kind of share what she's doing and, and hopefully it helps some other people because at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. That's what Annie is doing. She's helping people find freedom and passive income and make money online opportunities and and, you know, I live to do the same thing. And just it just warms my heart to see folks like Annie um, crushing it and doing well. So I'm super excited to have her with us. So, hey, Annie, how are you? Hey. Yeah, I'm super excited to be here. I feel really honored. Like, I mean, I basically started my journey as an apps student. So it just feels like amazing success and honor and just full, cir full circle to be here now in this capacity. It's really cool. Awesome. So you started out as an app student. Was it about a year ago or less than a year ago? Yeah, it was about a year ago. Yep. Nice. Nice. Yep. Super exciting. Um, yeah. How did you hear about us? If you don't mind me asking, was it a webinar with someone else? Oh God. Um, <laughs> I think that I got an email saying, Hey, check out this webinar about um, marketing on Facebook messenger. And I thought that sounded really cool. Cause I had tried Facebook advertising, like uh, paid ads and it didn't work out for me. So then I thought, well, maybe Facebook messenger will be, a better way. I've never heard of that before. So that sounds new and exciting. Like that could really be something cool. So I think I got your email inviting me to the webinar and then bought it and went from there. Cool. cool. So tell us yeah. a little bit about yourself, your background. How'd you get started? How'd you find this business? Yeah. So I'm 35. I live in Washington state about an hour South of Vancouver, BC, and I've been a dental hygienist for the last 15 years. And then about five years ago, when I very started looking for something else to do, and the reason was just to get free from the prison that's the nine to five. I, I make really good money as a hygienist still. I like it. It has purpose, but I have to be there trading my time for money. So, um, and you can't scale it because there's only eight hours in a day and you can't, you know, ask for thousands of dollars an hour. So I just, I just wanted to get free. So I just started doing probably what some of the people listening are doing and just started thinking about all the other things that I wanted to be doing with my time. And traveling was really where it started. I started like taking a month off at the end of every year and just, and going on trips. And, and then I would just come home and I would just be sad for the next month and feel like everything was pointless and all the coworkers and people around me sucked and were happy to just be watching TV on the weekends. And I felt like I didn't belong. So yeah, I'd be sad. And then I'd get comfortable like we do in life again. And, and then I'd just keep working. And then I just started looking at it in a different way, like return on investment really like i if i work my ass off now for a couple years you know maybe i can have the next 40 years of freedom rather than working 5 days and and getting 2 days of freedom it seems like a way worse roi so yeah, absolutely absolutely you know 
And uh, not everybody has that mindset. Some people would just stick with that job, but you had the mindset and you had the belief that you could do it, that it was possible. A lot of people look at the stuff and you know that we do and they're like, okay, that's impossible. Like, it, or it's yeah. a scam or it's right. not something that everybody can make money with or the only people making money are the people that's selling it. You know, and, and then, you know, they need to hear stories like yours to understand that it's real. Like regular people, you're a regular digital, digital um, dental hygienist and you found another way. You found a way to make money and you took action and actually made it happen and committed to it. And now it's paying off off dividends. So super proud of you for that. And uh, so what we're going to do is, uh, let me see if I can share my screen. Thank you. Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. So the first thing is your website here. So you created a website, getfreewithannie.com. It's sort of a review site, teaching people how to get free, generate passive income. It's not as good as yesterday, but better than tomorrow. The time is now to get free. I like that. Uh, Thank you. So yeah, I mean, so a lot of people online talk about, oh, you know, here's how you make a million dollars. Here's how you make a hundred thousand a month. But most people, yeah. if they can make, you know, like you're saying, $500 a day, that's a lot of money. Most people, if they can make an extra $5,000 a, a month, are super happy. Because, I mean, the, yeah. the average, what is it? The average household income in the United States is something like $60,000 a year. You know, like inflation has gone up and prices have gone up and salaries haven't gone up with it. So you have some yeah. really good hooks in here. Thank and, you. Um, so what is the... Uh, what was the whole concept behind this? How would you describe it? Yeah, I just didn't like seeing, I mean, I was, I did like probably a lot of people listening are doing, and I just started Googling, like, what's the best way I can make money online? How's the fastest way I can make passive income on the side? And I just started seeing all these advertisements. I went down the rabbit hole and I started getting emails and advertisements and started doing, you know, typing in the course name and then the word review after it and trying to figure out if it was legit and things like that. And it just kept seeming like they were so overhyped like you can make a hundred thousand dollars in a month in the next 10 days and it's worth ninety two thousand dollars but i'm gonna give it to you for seven dollars today and it was just like i just didn't feel like i could trust anybody and so i just thought well you know after like the 10th course that i had tried and failed i thought well i know enough about this now maybe i could just be that person that people can go to to trust and get good reviews from so that's how it kind of came about Makes sense. Makes sense. So your review site, I see, I like what you're doing. You're, you, you create your YouTube videos and then you embed it on your site and create yes. a blog post for each one. Yeah, just, and I just WordPress. Turn, yeah, it's just WordPress. And I just turn the, uh, I make a script and then I basically just turn that script into the article below. And then I turn that script into a video and then link the video to the article so that, you know, I basically get two pieces of content out of one. Right. Yeah, that's um, smart. I mean, so is this an autom like a plugin that does this, or you're actually putting these table of contents in a link? I, or that, yeah, that's a plugin. Oh, cool. Which plugin yeah. is that, if you don't mind? Yes. Uh, I think it's. I actually paid somebody to do all the technical stuff for me. I think it's Oxygen. Okay. Or something like that. I'm really not technical. I I'm good at the creative side of it, so I usually find somebody on Fiverr to do the technical stuff for me. <laughs> right. So you're just really summarizing the video down below, and that's that's your content. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right. I, pr I pretty much say all that word for word almost, and then I just turn it into a, an article. Now, uh, how many would you, how, how would you say, like, do most of your sales come from YouTube itself, or do most of them come from your blog, or do you track it that way? Or Yeah, or most of them come from YouTube, I would say 80%. And some of them are like the comments on YouTube as well. So I really try to answer every single comment as fast as I can. So sometimes somebody will see the video and then they'll comment like a question, like, you know, tell me more about this. And then I'll mm. tell them and they'll click on the link there after I answer their question. So that's about 80%. And then the other 20%, I would say, is from um, the follow-up emails. So I collect the emails in the in my with my link, has them put their email address in and then sends them to the webinar. So I follow up with emails afterwards. And same thing, people email me questions, tell me more about this. And I think people don't expect me to answer them so thoroughly. Like I really spend probably more time than I should answering people back. And um, that usually gets a sale. Yeah. Yeah. That human touch is what's missing in a lot of folks marketing. Like one of the best promotions we ever did was we spent three days with the folks on a virtual summit, answered all their questions, enlightened them, showed them what's possible, showed them what we're doing. And at the end of those three days, that human touch, like they really felt like they knew, like, and trusted us. And then we were selling stuff for $25,000, $30,000. They didn't even blink. Like we got a bunch of people yeah. to join. You know, people just want to feel like someone understands them and is there for them. And it's not just all automated. Yeah. Cause not everybody, I mean, barely anybody does that anymore. And, you know, like you say, if you want to be better than your competition or if you want to make more sales in your competition you have to be better in some way and that's like a really good way easy way i think to be better it's just 
take a little bit more time to be human and really listen to people. Yeah. And it doesn't take a whole lot of time to do it. Just, you know, just right. make the little extra effort. Right. So your videos, I mean, you're, I mean, you have a popular channel, but it's not like super popular, like Mr. Beast or something, you know, 10,000 yeah. subscribers is good. And your videos you get, I was looking like somewhere between a thousand and 2000. Usually I think your highest one I saw was like 9,000. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it doesn't That's take about- a whole lot of traffic. Right. Yeah. 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 They started out with, you know, every video is getting maybe a hundred or 200. And then over the last like six months or so now, most of them get at least a thousand in a few weeks. So you basically, have you started making money off of the YouTube ad revenue yet? Yeah. I consistently, I consistently make monthly revenue from them. Probably like 500 bucks a month from YouTube. Oh, that's not bad. That's yeah. serious passive income. Yeah. Just from showing ads. I mean, yeah, I literally do nothing. It's completely passive. It's awesome. So you link, get free with Annie. So where would that take them? To your website? So that would take them to my page to enter their email. Gotcha. And you just do And then they enter their on, email and then... Oh, that, oh, that one didn't... The, the replay. Oh, that one's a short. Yeah. So for the shorts, I just do direct links. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. cool. I want to find one of the other ones. Yeah. So I know... Uh, let me see. Like, like these links, I know go right to... So you have like a, so this is just get response, right? So get response yep. landing page. Yep. Just simple, get free with Annie, enter your best email, promise not to spam you. We don't have the time. You can unsubscribe. We won't be offended. Name, email, show me the goods. So after they enter their uh, name and email, I'm just going to enter it. Just one of my throwaway emails. And you take them right to watch the webinar through your affiliate link for our yep. apps program. And then that's it. I mean, simple that's as that. It. And then the video starts playing. You're going to see something special here yeah. today. If you've ever- Boom. It's pretty cool. So what's your, what's your follow-up like? Like what emails do you send them? Yeah. Uh, so I do, a, I do a welcome email that's basically just like, hey, hi, how's it going? Do you have any questions? And I don't put a link in that one. And then I do another email a day later um, with a link. And then I do, so I have a sequence of seven emails. The first one doesn't have a link. And then the next seven have links in them to like, hey, if you missed it, or you want to watch the replay, here it is. This is why. This is why it's good. Go here. So you have a separate list set up for each webinar you're promoting? Uh, Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Do you ever send broadcasts to everybody on the list at once? Yeah, yeah, I probably do that. Uh, I try to do that once a week. Once a week, okay. Yep. And just do a different kind of like, hey, check this out type email. Do you ever send them to your YouTube video? Not as much, but yes, I do. Yeah, this is good stuff. Who makes these bright, uh, like, uh, images for your videos? So it used to be I started making them. When I first started, I probably made the first, like, at least 50 thumbnails on Canva for free. And then, um, like, those ones down there with the just black background and the red and white writing, I just made all those on Canva. Okay. Um, uh, and then once they kind of start to get better, you could see where I was paying somebody to do it. So first I started paying a freelancer on Fiverr. Um, I think he charged me $5 per thumbnail. And now I pay Video Husky every month to edit my videos and make a thumbnail for me. So they oh, do cool. it. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the, the bright ones definitely stand out as, as a, compared to the dark ones. But I like mm-hmm. that you brand everyone with your face. So you let people really get to know you and your face. Yeah. Yeah, I do that with my emails too. I'll put like my face in all the emails. Do you? That's a good idea. Yeah, I like at the that. Bottom of each email. At the bottom, okay. A little image with my face on it. it okay. Kind of reinforces, you know. Yeah. The, uh, it's more personal. Yeah, it makes it more personal. All right. Let's see. What else can we talk about? I know I had a list of uh, questions here. So it's basically that. That's how you make most of your money, though. Just sending people to that email after they answer their email, they go to watch the webinar through your affiliate link. When they buy, you get your commission. And yeah. I make the video up. and send them there. And then you guys do the rest with your webinars, which are awesome. Cool. 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 All right. Yeah. So that's about it on the screen. Let me see here. Get back to zoom. I'm terrible with this technology stuff. <laughs> I know. Yep. Me too. Okay. There it is. Stop share. All right. So I had some other questions I wanted to ask you. So tell us about like YouTube. Is it anything we should know about the YouTube algorithm and how you maybe do keyword research or how you get the most traffic from YouTube? 
Yeah. So I have to be really honest here. I'm not that great with the YouTube algorithm. I'm not technical either. Um, but I can tell you that usually what YouTube seems like they like the most is just they're trying to give their users the best experience. So the best thing that I feel like I can do as a YouTuber is just provide the most value. So just make good videos about things that people really care about that help people. So I kind of try to act like my own audience. Like I get on YouTube and I search like best way to make passive income and I see what pops up and usually an ad will pop up too. And usually an ad will pop up multiple times. And then I know that that ad is popping up everywhere because that creator is spending money to, to make that ad be seen. So then I know my audience is seeing that ad and clicking on that. And then they're going to go type that course in with the word review after it. So that seems to really work for me is just acting like my audience and seeing what comes up and then um, making a video from that. Usually when I do that, I get uh, way more views. So. so like kind of piggybacking off the product names and people searching for the product names? Yep. Makes yeah, because that's who I'm trying to help is people searching for the best way to make passive income. So I just act like, like I'm one of those people and see what comes up and that seems to really really help. And then I follow people like Mr. Beast and I watch what he does. And, you know, I follow things like Think Media and VidIQ and listen to their tips and just try to like really keep learning from what other successful people are doing. And I just try to do that. I mean, like you were saying, Mr. Beast, I mean, he has it nailed. Like he knows how to get a person to look at his video and to stay there. So I try to like learn from a lot of what he does too, like how his thumbnails are trying to tell a story and stuff like that. Yeah, no, he's it's like a billion dollar company. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. It's like ridiculous what he's been able to do. Yeah. It's insane. So do you use any type of software or keyword tools or anything? Or is it really just looking through YouTube and seeing what's what's popular? I use yeah, I use TubeBuddy and uh VidIQ. So there that's really helpful and simple and easy to use. I use VidIQ for keywords and to come up with different titles for my YouTube videos. And then I use TubeBuddy to look at the analytics and competition and stuff like that. And they're both free. Nice. Those are good ones. I'm yeah. Sure I'll put the, those in the notes down below. Yes. Uh, how long does it usually take you to create a video? And how many videos do you typically do a month or a week? Um, I Well, when, when I started out, it was a lot different. It probably took me a full day to like do the research and make an article. And then it took me another day to turn it into a video and do the editing. But um, now, since I can afford to have other people do the more technical stuff, probably takes me one day to I can bang out two to three articles all in a day and then boom 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 make the videos one right after another and then send them to my editor and then have it back in two days from them so I try to do it all on Mondays because I still work a, a semi-regular job Tuesday through part of Friday so I try to get all my content made on Monday and then the rest of the week I come home after work and do little things here and there so you kind of like batch videos batch production yep. on Mondays. Yep. Yep. So it takes me, takes me probably a day because I do all the research, write the articles out, and then I edit all like the bloopers and ums out of my video first and then send it to my video editor. What, so uh, so I try you, to, what do you use to edit those out? I just use Movavi video editor. I think it's like $80 a year, super basic. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I, I've really, I've been trying to be really consistent with posting one per week. Um, sometimes I, I'm able to get two per week, but one per week is my minimum. Cool, cool, cool. Do you feel like, uh, cause each video is about a, another program that you're promoting, right? Do you feel like you're eventually going to run out of ideas for videos based on that or programs to promote? I don't cause there's so many people always coming up with new programs and courses and there's so many people wanting to learn how to do stuff online and do stuff from home these days. And, um, yeah. I feel like it's endless. I, I have like a list of, I make lists of potential videos I'm going to make in the, like what's next and what's next. And I mean, I have a list of like 10 right now. And then I also have a couple that I want to update that I haven't, you know, touched on in a year that are maybe a little bit different now. So yeah, it's no, it's good. It's good in that sense. Do you ever make more than one for one particular program? Do you like Make a bunch yeah, of I think I've made two for apps. I think I made apps was like the very first video I ever made was a review on apps. And then I think I re I remade an updated one for apps this last year. And then I also made like my top three best uh, courses for learning how to make passive income and apps was in that one as well. So nice. yeah, I do different, different stuff like that. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. 
Uh, so you said that uh, you make most of your videos. We were talking earlier. You were mentioning you just use your phone for a lot of these video, all of the videos, right? Yeah, I started out with the camera on my computer when I very first started because I just had a laptop and I and I just used the camera on my computer and I used a thirty dollar microphone and that was it. Um, now I use my smartphone. Um, I use a twenty dollar tripod that I stick my phone on. I use a $20 light that I got off Amazon so that I can have the same lighting every time. Um, and then I upgraded my microphone. So I spent $100 on a microphone. So now I use that one. And I just plug that right into the end of my cell phone. And that's it. That's my whole setup. Hey, low tech. Nice. I like it. <laughs> so so is, that the, uh, is this your normal recording studio or are you just chilling out in your living room or something? Yeah, this is usually where I record. It's out in my garage. Oh, okay. So, what is yeah. that? What are you using as a backdrop there? These are just like... Uh, they're they're really cheap like soundproofing blocks so they come in like a big stack and they're foam they're foam and i just um i just stuck them to the wall with command strips <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> so that's looks, it looks that's all well it is done. yeah thank you yeah we have to make too big of a deal of how high tech you have to be and how much you have to spend and you know all this stuff and it's just the simple stuff like you're doing that, that works yeah right. yeah i think i spent like 50 bucks on those on amazon so Right. Yeah. It's like not a whole lot of money compared to what you're making for this. Yeah, thing. I know um, you can make it work. You just got to make good content. It's really what people care about. And be yourself and be yourself. Be, be authentic. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you had a big jump in sales recently. What would you say was the secret sauce for making that work? Are you doing anything differently now that you weren't doing before? Um. So... I would say I'm just being more consistent. So like I used to pay a freelancer on Fiverr to edit my videos and, you know, he would have customers sometimes that he had to take care of and, or he would, you know, be sick or something. And so sometimes I wouldn't get a video back from him for a week and then I wouldn't be able to post a video that week. So, um, I just a couple months ago, maybe two or two months ago, started paying video Husky to edit all my videos and they're, they always are able to get my videos back to me within two days. So um, I'm always able to post one video per week now. So I think just that consistency has really helped a lot because YouTube likes that. And then, um, <clears throat> you know, January is just like gym memberships. Everybody in January right. is like, I'm going to do all this stuff. <laughs> so January right. is usually a really good month. Yeah, um, no, for sure. Sure. Everybody wants to get a side gig, a side hustle, uh, increase their income, improve themselves somehow. Yep. start. Yeah. yeah and then I also Jay, like a lot of my sales have been Jay's Amazon publishing formula. And I think I've just been pushing that a little bit more because I noticed that people were buying that more. And I think it's because it's fun. It's really different than any of the other courses. Like it's not technical. It's not, you don't need software. You're just like creating something fun and people really like that. So I started pushing it a little bit more and it's been doing really well. Well, not just that. Also, it's like, like you said, January is the month. And one of the biggest New Year's resolutions or New Year's goals that people have is like, I want to write a book this year. And, you True. Know, so this thing is about children's books. So people are like, oh, this is great. I want to learn how to do that. So yeah. January is a hot month for that topic. So you have the dual thing, the uh, make money online side income. Plus, the, I want to be an author, both yeah. happening at the same time in, in January. Yeah. I mean, when I watched his webinar to do research on it, I, I was like, I could do that. I could write his book. I'm going to do that. So yeah, yeah. it, it it's works. He's very good at, uh, he's very like guy next door type of vibe. Very trustworthy. Yeah. Jay, Jay's a good guy. He's made a ton of money. I remember when he was first getting started back in the days, he was partners with my other friend, uh, John Rhodes. And uh -huh. John kind of took him under the wing and said, let's do this together. And then now he's like taking off on his own. So yeah. 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 And I mean, I think that a lot of people, you know, it's really hard for people to trust marketers and trust people selling anything really online. But if you're sitting there with your 10 year old son, I mean, that's <laughs> a lot easier to trust. Right. I think so. Yeah. All that stuff works. And my, my presentations, I, you know, I put pictures of the family and the kids and by the end of the presentation, people are like, I can trust this guy. I feel like yeah. I know him. He's a regular guy like us. Yeah. Makes a difference. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else can I ask you here? Uh, so we talked a bit about your follow-up. You were saying that most of your sales come from YouTube and then did you say 20% comes from the emails or, or the 20% come from the website? The email follow-ups. Yeah. Okay. Even so, if, even if it is coming from the website, I'm not, I don't ever really get um, sales from someone clicking on the link out of the article on the website. 
So even if it is from the website, they're probably clicking on the YouTube video and then going from there. Gotcha. Now, do you track yeah. everything separately? Do you track that? You know, I used to, well, I still do when I'm doing a campaign, I track each individual email. So I have a separate tracking for each email. So I know which email in the sequence is actually working, which one's not. And then the one's not, I'll replace that email. I track, yeah. uh, you know, the source, is it coming from YouTube? Is it coming from the website? You know, which, which article is it coming from? You could put like little tracking codes on every link that you create just to have yeah. a feel for what's working. On everything. I do track if it's coming from YouTube or the emails or the website, I should be better about tracking it within the emails. Like which email is it coming from and which is working? I don't do that as much. I should do that. That's a good, that's a good tip. Yeah, it's it's easy to do. It's just like boom, you just add a little yeah. tracking code to the end of it. If you're using a, a ThriveCart affiliate links as part of your apps program, each one you could put a separate little tracking on the end of yeah, it. It's yeah, it's so easy. Yeah, I like I like ThriveCart. It's a great, it's a great platform. Yeah, yeah. They just got a round of funding for like 35 million. So they're gonna be doing some major upgrades. That's awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah. Josh Bartlett. I remember Josh Bartlett when he first got started. He was the uh video guy. He created this uh, video player, easy video player. Like, oh, I, I remember think, that. Yeah, that was him. That was what he was That's funny. for. Before That's Thrive awesome. Park. Yeah. Cool. It's funny. I mean, when you've been doing it as long as I have, like I've seen people where they got started and blew up and I've seen people go public, become billionaires. I've seen people just completely disappear. I've yeah. pretty much seen everything and, and I've been doing this since 2001. So it's like so many different things have happened. That's so I've cool. Seen all type of, so many stories I could, I could tell about this. Industry. Yeah. I'm excited for that. I try to really, when I do the follow-up emails with people and they're like, I'm going to buy this course. I'm like, please tell me how it goes. Like, I really want to know where you go from here. Cause that it, it's really fun to hear about that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that could be one of the next things for you too, is like, once you get some success stories, like the same way I'm interviewing you, you know, you could mm -hmm. interview other people that have had some type of success based yeah. on things you've recommended. And then you can use that as a way to promote whatever you're promoting. Yeah. It's like really good content. People love to see proof from everyday people they could relate to. For sure. Yeah. So last question, what advice would you give someone just getting started to get their first sale or just to have the courage to uh, do this business? Yeah, just, uh, just start, just start. Like don't stop planning, stop analyzing, stop worrying if you're going to fail because you are like, you don't have to worry about if you're going to fail because you're going to fail. So just start and just keep going and, um, Try to do one thing per day, even if it's tiny, like one thing per day, everything, every, every day towards your goal. Cause when you first start, you're not used to working on something else. So you really have to kind of try to make it like this new way of living, like a habit, a mindset. You do it again and again and again until it just starts to become normal. Like now I just come home from work and I start working and it doesn't feel really like a task anymore. It's just part of what I do every day. And it just uh, keeps getting better and keeps getting easier. So, yeah, just start and keep doing it and just be authentic and be real and have integrity. You know, don't sell something that you wouldn't sell to your grandma or your mom because you still want to feel good about yourself too. And uh, and then maybe just to just try to give more than I think people get caught up in like, I want to make money. I want to make sales. Like instead of thinking of it that way, think of how much value you can give because if you really start focusing on value you can give, then money just is attracted to you. Um, you That's know, if you chase money, it, it's like always off in the distance, but if you just focus on providing value, then it just comes to you. Great points. I agree hundred percent. Absolutely. Focus on providing value. Everything else kind of falls in place. Be consistent, get your stuff out there, do one thing every day and you can't help but succeed. I mean, it's just money to be made. And I mean, a big part of this also is like most people are terrified to express themselves online to take a leadership role, to be seen and put themselves out there for potential criticism and or public speaking and fears and things like that. How, how did you, I know I said that was the last question before, but I had That's to ask okay. you this. Have yeah. you always been good like on camera? Is it something that you've always wanted to do? Like how did you, what gave you the, the courage to just start doing YouTube videos? Oh God, no, I was so bad at the beginning. Like you could go back and look at the first videos I did and they're terrible. Like I'm just like, um, um, uh, like really, really bad. But um, yeah, just like I said, you just start and then you just keep getting better. And I think one thing I don't remember who said it? Cause I did so much research, but you know, someone was like, don't worry about like people seeing your bad videos. Cause they're not going to like, no one's going to yeah. see your first videos. Like you're not famous just cause you make a video. So like, don't worry about people seeing your videos. They're not going to see them until later down the road. And then by then you'll be a little bit better and you'll be more comfortable and you just, you just keep doing it. 
So yeah, no, I've not always been good. And sometimes I make a video and then I watch it and I'm like, oh, that's terrible. Like what was wrong with me today? And I just don't, <laughs> I yeah. just make a new one. So yeah. Yeah. I look at some of my earlier stuff, like some of my earlier videos and some of my earlier webinars or whatnot. It's just like cringy. Like, oh my God, I can't believe. But some of cringy. them I've made a bunch of money on. I'm like, how did I make so much money on that? A lot of times yeah. it's, it's your imperfections that people are kind of attracted to, like in terms of like, wow, if she can do it. I can do it too. Yeah. If he can do it, I can do it too. He's just, you know, he's not yeah, perfect. True. I'm not either. I had a friend, uh, Ty Cohen. He, he was, we always tease him because he's been running the same webinar for his Kindle cash flow thing uh -huh. since like 2011. Like yep. the same thing. He's, he's changed it up a little bit, but it's really it's essentially the same topic for the longest time. He might have the longest running webinar that I know. And I remember him saying like he had a um, an error in one of his slides and a mispronunciation in one of his slides. And he purposely kept it there because it made him seem more human to people. It made yeah. him, you know, he, he had a superstition. Like if I take this out, it's not going to do as well. So he yeah. made sales and he just kept that in. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah that's funny. Yep. Just keep being yourself and keep doing it and it'll get better. All right. Great. Great. Well, thank yeah. you, Annie. I appreciate you coming on. You are an inspiration to all of us here, especially my uh, my followers watching this. I'm sure I'm going to post this up and people, if you see this video, leave your comments for Annie and check out her channel, uh, Get Free With Annie on YouTube and the website, getfreewithannie.com. And you can see what she's doing, sign up for her list, see, see how she's doing stuff. And um, you'll be a good person to model. Thank you, Annie. Thank Have you so one. much, Ron. It was an honor. Yes. We'll talk again soon. All okay. right. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video of me and my mentor just chatting. And if there are any links or recommendations to courses or trainings that I might recommend, they will be linked in the description below. And I hope that you choose today to go out and get free.